Hi and welcome to another very exciting tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about a great way to showcase your new features in your apps. And this is something that Apple does for quite a while now. And I really like this overview about what key features are there. And actually this is what we're going to do right now. So I can just um, reopen that right here. And this is the way that we're presenting these new features to our users. And what I'm using for this is a great GitHub project, which is called What's New Kit. And you will find a link in the video description below. And I really love this project because it's highly customizable. Um, you can see different animations here already in this GIF. Um, it is really simple to implement actually, but there are a few tricks that I can show you um, to do it a little bit quicker. And um, so I'd like to say, let's get right started. There's everything you really need in this project. So you can just go ahead and download it. Um, you could also use Carthage or CocoaPods or whatever you like. But if you prefer just to not use any of these tools, then you can just also drop um, the source folder that you will find in the download from GitHub to your project and all of the necessary files are included there. So let's not waste any time. Let's get right started. And I'd like to show you just a very simple way to create um, such a what's new view controller. And the only preparation that I did here is just added some of the icons that were already part of the example files in the GitHub repository. I've just added them to my project as well. And note that they're just black. You can give them any color you want actually. So just go ahead, create the icons or download the icons you need for your features, add them in black to this, um, to your project. And then we can just use it. And I've also added some colors that I think just go well. So you will see that it is highly customizable. And we're going to start in our view controller. Um, nothing fancy here in our storyboard, just a button to actually indicate that there is something there. And with that being said, let's just jump right into our view controller dot Swift file. And you will see that it is fairly easy to achieve. Um, what we'll do is just add a view did appear here. Um, so also call super view did appear and pass along the animated parameter here because we cannot really present another view controller in the view that load state of the view controller lifecycle. So we're going ahead and just adding that in view did appear. But this feature overview or these new features aren't something that you'd like to present all the time. Nevertheless, for this demonstration, I'm going to call a function um, calling it what uh, or what's new if needed. Just calling that right here, writing it there. So just create a function, call it what's new if needed. And we do not need to return anything here. And every time we call this function now in view to appear, um, or every time our view appears, we're presenting our what's new feature overview, but we can solve that really, really easily. So just stay tuned for that. We're going to come to that in a little while. So just to save some time, I have prepared a little something here, um, which is just very easy. So we have um, an array of items here. And by using the what's new framework and calling the initializer item, we can initialize all the items that we really want here. So we can initialize it with a title, a subtitle, and a UI image. And I've just chosen the feature one, two, three, and four image here, added some blind text for my features, added a cool title, and that's all there is to creating an array of items. And with this array created, we can actually think about the way we want to style our view controller. There is a really cool predefined style. So you can actually just go ahead and do the following, creating a what's new view controller using what's new view controller and initialize that with a what's new object. So before we can do that, let's create a what's new object. 
also as a, con a constant. So what's new, initialize that with the what's new class and giving it a title, let's say cool new features and just pass along the items array that we've just created. And with this what's new object created, we can now initialize our what's new view controller and just pass along what's new. And all that's left to do now is presenting this view controller, the what's new view controller on our current view controller. So I'm just calling self present and we want this to be animated. We do not need a completion here. So let's just erase that. And then we can run this and have a look at it in the simulator. So already um, when we launch our application, we get cool new features. We get all of these icons with the description and the title and we can press continue and all the time because we're presenting that in view did appear. Uh, we're actually presenting this what's new view controller. But that being said, all we need to do now is actually configuring our view controller or configuring this what's new feature list. And therefore you have different approaches. Um, you can have a look at the repository. There are some great explanations on um, also easier configurations. But what I'd like to do right after defining the items, I like to create a theme for my what's new view controller. And therefore I'm taking the what's new view controller class and calling theme on it. And this will give me the possibility to add a closure here with a configuration parameter. So I can just use that and now call configuration and for example, apply a animation to all of my elements. So this is very simple. There are a bunch of animations. I'm going to go with fade, very simple. And now I'd like to change my background color. So I'm going ahead, configuration, background color, UI color, and I can initialize that with a name. Um, I've chosen BG color here. And um, you could check if this is available since this is an optional, but I'm pretty sure um, that I spelled that correctly. So I'm just force unwrapping it for the sake of this demonstration. Now what next? Let's say we're going to change the title view and the title color. Therefore, I also have a color which is named light text. Um, that is that and I have to apply this to a bunch of items. So not only the title color, but also the items view and the title color of the items and also from the items view, the subtitle color. So if we're having a look at that really quickly, um, what we have is the title view and the title color. This would be the cool new features. We have the items view and the uh, title color. These are just the titles here and the subtitles are just the text that we have added right below. And with the completion button that we also have here, if we change the color of the completion button, this is going to affect all of the icons that are displayed right here. So I'm also going to change the configuration for my completion button and its background color, changing that to UI color named and therefore I have just used icon color. Um, and with that, we have actually prepared our theme. Now with our theme ready, we have to create a little configuration. So I'm just going to call that config and we're going to use the what's new view controller class, creating a configuration here and initializing that with a theme. As you can see, you could also initialize this configuration with a background color here, with the title view, with items view and so on. We're not going to do that. I'm just going to pass along my theme right here and delete all of the other parameters. And now with the configuration ready, what we have to do is actually passing along this configuration to our what's new view controller. So if we initialize that again, and you can see that we have also an initializer here um, that gives us the possibility to add our configuration. So now I'm going to pass along what's new and also my config object. And if I now run this in the simulator, 
then we're going to see all of our changes already applied to our What's New view controller. And I think this is really cool. We have this fade animation with the colors that we've chosen. So a very cool and quick way to apply the look and feel of your application to this features list. Now, obviously you're asking yourself, how can I prevent this from being shown again if your user opened the app, um, let's say after an update or after the users downloaded the app for the first time. You could create your own code for that, uh, creating something with user defaults or save it in some other data persistence framework of your choice. Uh, but uh, what's new kit also comes with neat little features um, that are really cool. For example, there are predefined configurations that allow you to store the information about a user having already seen this new features list in your user defaults or even in the uh, ubiquitous store, the ubiquitous uh, key value store, so that you could also add that to iCloud so that if your user has your app on different devices, that you really don't have to worry that this information is shown twice. And the way to do that is really simple again. Uh, we're going to create a, a key value uh, version store right above our what's new view controller. So let's say key value version store. And we're going to initialize that with the key value what's new version store. And this is the way of the what's new kit to initialize um, either a um, key value store locally on a device using, and this is what we are going to do, the user defaults and the standard user defaults, which are a very easy way to actually store key value information. Or you could also go with the ubiquitous version, which would store the information in iCloud. But with that done, something interesting is going to happen. Once we are going to initialize our what's new view controller again, and as you can see here, there is also a third initializer. And the recording area doesn't really catch the last parameter here. So the this initializer also comes with the version store parameter. So in this case, we're passing along the what's new object. We're passing along the configuration. And we're also going to pass along our key value version store. And once we do that, our what's new view controller is becoming optional. Um, and with that being said, we can actually check if it is available and only present our what's new view controller if it has not been shown yet. So if it has been shown, it's going to be nil and we do not have to present our what's new view controller. So let's create an if let statement right here. Let's call it uh, VC and just assign the what's new view controller. And if that is the case, and if we have a view controller to present, we're going to present our view controller VC. And you could also add an else statement and do something else, um, but we are not going to do that right now. And that is actually it. That takes care of everything. We're going to run this in the simulator and see if this works. So here we are. Um, we're not going to present this any longer because we've already seen it. Um, but let's just um, reset our simulator real quickly um, using hardware and erase all contents and settings. Let's erase that. And of course, our application crashes now. But now we can just run it again and see if our uh, key value store or the user defaults work. And here we are in the simulator and we can click or press on continue. And as you can see, it is not going to sh be shown again. And if we run our application one more time in the simulator, also our what's new view controller should not be displayed and it really doesn't. So this was just a quick introduction into this what's new kit available on GitHub. It's really a great framework um, that I can highly recommend if you plan to display um, new features to your users. I hope you enjoyed uh, this kind of video introducing you to a great free project. Um, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel to not miss any tutorials in the future and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.